Hello Aquarius and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Aquarius, I am here to give you guys your mid-month for July. This reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? Ooh. Just take what does resonate and toss out the rest, okay? Don't try to force any reading into your world. And thank you Aquarius so much for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything. All of the love, the positive vibes. I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything you do. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, They're, the cards are getting out of hand now here, right? Um, all right. So what I'm feeling like here, Aquarius, is you're kind of in the Queen of Cups energy. I feel like you guys are a bit emotional right now. Um, protecting your love, but emotional. I feel like there's something you don't see coming, okay? I feel like you don't see that your happiness is right behind. It's like you've got your back turned to it here, but the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor, and every all of this is going to clear up. I feel like you just need to stand, keep standing in your boundaries, keep standing um, in your truth, right? Your integrity. Uh, be strong. I, I feel like you guys could be sad right now. Um, or just like all up in your feels, kind of emotional. You don't see anything coming here because you've been so busy trying to use your intuition. I feel like someone may have, um, I don't know, told you something here that's got you all up in your emotions, all up in your head. And you're making a final decision here too from what I can see. Using, using that intuition, um, protecting your heart, really. Um, you've got a cap on that, love. Yeah, something about a choice. You're making a decision in love. I feel like you're cutting somebody out. And there's a person out here, I feel, um, who may not be able to keep their eyes off of you, but things are not going good in their life. Behind them is everything's burning to a crisp, but you're out here being gorgeous and beautiful. Um, yeah, you're cutting somebody out. I feel like this is this could be somebody who um, was really harsh with their communication, maybe. But it's hard for you, see? That, yeah, because this King of Cups over here, they're... They're very emotional as well. This is kind of a hard split, I feel, for both of you, to be honest. You're both having these, these um, emotional memories about each other. This one fell on the floor. Yeah, this is, a, this is a hard ending, I feel, for somebody. It's either you, Aquarius, or your person, or it's both. I feel like what I'm sensing here is this, you're just realizing that this person, um, they're not going to show you any love. That's the feeling that I'm getting. They could be, yeah, they're not going to give to you. They're gi they could be giving to somebody else right now. And I feel like it's got you both up in your emotions, okay? It does. It's a very emotional cutoff here, Aquarius, that you're having. Somebody's in a lot of pain, maybe even feeling betrayed. Um, I don't feel like they feel betrayed by you, though. I just feel like they're having this victim mentality where life isn't fair. But you know what? They, yeah, they needed to tell you how they feel. Oh, boy. And here, I feel like here it comes. I feel like this could be what you've been waiting for. Oh, my gosh. Ten of Cups, celebration, a time of celebration. Oh, that's what this person is thinking. Okay, so this is what they've got going on in their head. This is all the stuff that they're thinking about in their mind. Is all the things they could have had with you if only they would have offered you this cup of love. This is them thinking about this. If only they would have offered you that cup of love, you guys could be... Because I feel like you were this wish, this person's wish fulfillment here. But they just didn't make you any kind of offer. They could have listened to other people. They may, 
If only they would have defended you against the opinions of others. If only they would have defended you. If only they would have... Um, I feel like... I feel like at one point it did really feel like wish fulfillment for you both. That's why this is so painful. I mean, and, and they're having a really hard time, whoever this person is. You could be dealing with the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or any air sign, really. Yeah, I feel like this was their wish too, but it's like... They were they already had someone else, maybe? Third party situation here. If only they had defended you against the opinions of others, okay? They could be having this wish fulfilled life. This is the kind of this is like a dream that wakes them up. It's like more like a nightmare. It starts out wonderful, but then it turns hideous because you're not there. You're gone. It's the end of a cycle. You're, you've made a decision here, I feel, to cut them out. Yeah, they couldn't decide. They couldn't decide. And here you turned out to be their soulmate connection. Oh. Yeah, that's the feeling that they're getting in their gut, right? Oh. They couldn't make a decision. They were all like, I don't know this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. While they continued to give to other people or somebody else and left you empty handed, yet that's what that's what did it. And now this person, I mean, they envision themselves how things could be with you, okay? How things could be with you, how they could have been. And then they feel sick over it when they when they snap back to reality, they feel sick over it, yeah, because they're out in the cold. Yep, they put themselves out in the cold because they feel like they took your love and they took advantage of it and they just left you sitting here feeling breadcrumbed like another option, third-party situation, not being able to decide whether or not they wanted their soulmate and their wish fulfillment. They couldn't decide. I feel like they could have listened to other people. They're wishing they hadn't. Yeah, this is a dream for them that it that they it's like it turns into a nightmare because you're not there because you're gone. All right, give me one more for Aquarius. Yeah. It could have been the 10 of pentacles. I feel like this person they saw you as wish fulfillment, but then they could have listened to other people. I don't know what they believed. I don't really know. But they lost they lost their stability. They lost their wish. They lost their um future companion, their soulmate. This could have turned into um a long-term commitment and generational wealth and wish fulfillment and they lost it all. Because they couldn't decide because they listen to others. Yeah, their dream turns into a nightmare. All right, give me one more for Aquarius. This person, they could be losing their finances here. They could have lost... Um, a business maybe or they could even lose a home um, but I'm really just feeling like this person just they just wake up from a freaking nightmare um, you know yeah temperance angel I feel like I feel like the divine is sending you new love Aquarius okay I feel like they're mixing you up a new soulmate connection you've got a new connection coming for you I feel like patience is required here and possibly some healing. I really feel like you guys still need to do some healing. Okay? Maybe purge, forgive on your own, this person, so that you can release them. Okay? Um, yeah. 
because this person really messed up. Let's see what they have to say. They dream about you. They dream of a happy life with you. They go back and uh, retrace their steps, right? All the things that they did, like, screwed up in this relationship. And, man, it's like they're either having nightmares or they just can't sleep at all. Laying in bed crying. Thinking that they lost the one for them. All right, so what does this person want to say to the collective, to Aquarius? Oop, there we go. Please come back. I made a mistake. Um, there's no passion in my life. I feel like I'm stuck in Groundhog Day. Yeah. I feel like they may have gotten stuck with whoever they were giving to, you know? Yep, I'm in a karmic relationship, but we sleep in separate beds. <laughs> the sadness I feel for you is something I've never experienced before. That's because they've never experienced how, how close they came to ult an ultimate wish fulfillment kind of life. Okay? That's how close they came. How close do you ever come to a winning lottery ticket? You know what I mean? That's what this person lost. They've never experienced that kind of pain and, and heartache before. You know what I mean? You, you were the one for this person, and you're cutting them out of your life. I'm starting to see that I cannot live up to other people's expectations of me. That's them listening to other people. Deep down, I know that this environment isn't the best for me or my kids, but I care more about what happened to me during childhood. Um, yeah, I feel like this person may need to, they may have some childhood wounds they need to, to heal from, okay? And in the karmic situation that they're in, there could be children involved. So, yeah, that's for someone Something could have happened to this person in childhood or something. People around me keep talking about you. Yeah. It's, a, it's almost like they're unable to stop thinking about you because, you know, people are still talking, right? The same people who gave them their opinions that they listened to, the, you know, in the first place, I feel like they still have those people around them. And those people are just bringing them to this kind of energy, the Five of Pentacles. A lot of loss, a lot of um, burdens, um, feeling like they're out in the cold. Um, and uh, they, I, they could feel isolated. Just things could be going wrong in their life. They're still around the same people who talked about you before. Anyway, Aquarius, that's what I've got for your mid-month. I, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. If you guys like this video, please click that like button, right? Subscribe. We love the likes and the subscribes out here, guys. If you, if you want to put a smile on a tarot reader's face, just click the like button. You know, it's that simple. And, um, yeah, subscribe if you like this vibe and this resonates with you, okay? Join the Soul Tribe because we really are awesome. And until next time, Aquarius, take care of you and peace out.